everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. On this planet there are plenty of aquatic birds, both in the world's rivers and in our oceans, and the majority of these species rely directly on the water for food, whether this be fish, squid, plankton, or even vegetation. But being a bird on the water isn't as carefree as you might think, because not only do you have to look out for aquatic mammals, but there are also plenty of fish to actively hunt these birds, and I'll be going through just a few of them today, as in this video I will be going through five fish that hunt birds, and we'll start off in the fresh waters of Eurasia as we have the Wells catfish. Now I have featured the Wells catfish on a few videos before as it's such an iconic freshwater fish. These giants are the second largest freshwater fish in Europe as they're thought to be able to reach a maximum size of around 3 meters or 9.8 feet. Catfish of this size are very rare but aren't unheard of. Catfish are known for eating almost anything that they can fit in their mouths and the Wells catfish is no exception to this rule as it's an apex predator at the top of the food chain eating many different fish, crustaceans, mammals, and of course birds. This fish is also known to be a scavenger and will feed on any dead bodies it comes across in its muddy deep water habitat. The Wells catfish was originally native to the north and eastern parts of Europe, but since then it's been introduced into the western parts of Europe where it has done very well. The Wells catfish is very popular with anglers and this is thought to be the main reason why they were introduced. In places such as southern France and Italy, this fish is all but taken over as the apex predator, but living in a warmer climate has forced these fish to adapt. As the Wells catfish in these warmer climates have a faster metabolism and because of this they have to feed on more food items. And as the Wells catfish is cannibalistic, this can sometimes be each other. The larger Wells catfish are known to stay in deeper waters where they feed on their regular prey of fish and crustaceans, but the smaller specimens are forced into shallower water where they have to get a bit more creative as to what they feed on. In the ancient French city of Albi, small Wells catfish were seen to feed on pigeons. They would ambush them from the water before beaching themselves to get at these birds. These catfish were known to have an overall success success rate of around 28%, which is quite impressive for such a sluggish looking fish. And since then, other specimens have been seen exhibiting the same behaviour in Spain, so the Wells catfish really does live up to its reputation as a fish that will eat almost anything. Before our next species, we'll be heading over to the Indo-Pacific, as we have the giant Trevally. This species can be found from South Africa to Hawaii, and is a highly adapted predator near the top of the food chain. The giant Trevally is the largest of the Trevally species, reaching a maximum size of around 1.7 metres or 67 inches and within their wide range, they are found in many different marine environments, from estuaries to shallow bays, lagoons, and even deep reefs. In these environments, they're known to feed on fish, crustaceans, cephalopods, and mollusks. And to do this, they've come up with some pretty impressive feeding strategies, as they will often shadow monk seals to pick off prey that are trying to escape them. They're also known to attack fish at the same time as sharks, as these panicked fish are easier to pick off. Because of their aggression and power, they are a very popular species with fishermen, as they're basically a giant slab of muscle they really do put up a great fight. In some cases, the giant trevally can look completely different when it's in the water as opposed to out of the water, as mature males are known to be a solid black colour, but once they've been caught on rod and reel, they revert to their stress coloration, which is the silvery colour you see in most pictures. In 2017, the Blue Planet 2 team filmed some extraordinary behaviour in the Seychelles, as the giant trevally were seen to attack birds that were sat on the surface of the water. These birds were mostly turned species and were mostly fledglings. These birds were not used to taking off and landing on the water, so it turned out to be easy prey for the trevally. So it really isn't much of a surprise that this apex predator turns out to be pretty good at attacking birds. But for our next species, we'll be heading to the fresh waters of Africa, as we have the goliath tigerfish. Again, this is a very iconic freshwater fish, and is probably the scariest species that you can run into. They're thought to reach a maximum size of around 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet long. In the fresh waters of Africa, they mainly feed on other fish, and to do this, they use their impressive eyesight, and they sometimes hunt in packs. Despite their devilish appearance, there are very few recorded attacks on humans, as they prefer to stick to their diet of fish and sometimes birds. As in 2014, South African researchers discovered that the African tigerfish would happily attack birds. As over a 15 day study, these researchers observed at least 20 successful attacks on low flying barn swallows. It was usually the smallest specimens going after these birds, and they chose to attack when the swallows were skimming the surface or were near the edge of the water. As their preferred food is fish, it's thought that they only adopt this feeding strategy when food is low. This hunting technique isn't exactly safe, as the splashing of the water also attracts crocodiles and also draws the attention of the African fish eagle. But if you were a small barn swallow, getting attacked by a goliath tigerfish is probably one of the worst ways to go. Before our next species, we'll be heading over to the Atlantic Ocean, as we have the monkfish. Now there are around seven species of monkfish, and as you can tell from their overall body shape, they tend to spend most of their time on the ocean floor. And while they're camouflaged amongst the substrate, 
They use their long filaments to attract smaller fish and squid. The monkfish is also a very popular food fish and is a very popular dish at many high-end restaurants. But I doubt many customers know what this fish actually looks like when it's alive. As the monkfish is a species that lives on the bottom of the ocean, you'd think it'd be almost impossible for them to eat birds. And although it seems very unlikely, birds have been found in the stomachs of at least 14 monkfish. These birds were mainly dovekies, which are also known as little orcs. These birds are very small, reaching a maximum size of around 20 centimeters long. They normally feed by diving into the ocean to feed on tiny crustaceans and plankton. And although they can dive to around 30 meters, this isn't anywhere near enough to come into contact with a monkfish. But monkfish are known to swim impressive distances when the sun goes down, as at night they're known to swim within 10 meters of the surface. And this is mainly to take advantage of the currents during migration periods or to spawn at the surface of the water. The monkfish aren't thought to deliberately go after these birds, but as they're an opportunistic feeder, they won't turn down an easy meal. So although it seems very unlikely, this is another proven bird hunter. Before our next species, we'll be heading to tropical and temperate waters around the world, as we have the tiger shark. Now, as I'm sure many of you know, the tiger shark is only second to the great white shark in recorded fatal attacks on humans. And although this seems scary, as I've covered many times on this channel before, unprovoked shark attacks are very rare and they should not be villainized. The tiger shark is the fourth largest shark in the world, reaching a maximum size of around 5 meters, or around 16.4 feet. Part of the reason why the tiger shark is more dangerous than other species is because they seem to be very adventurous and very unfussy when it comes to their prey, as they eat all the usual foods, such as crustaceans, fish, seals, and squid, but they don't seem to turn their snout up at anything, as they'll happily eat turtles, sea snakes, dolphins, dugongs, and even non-edible human-made items, such as car tires, license plates, and oil cans. So the scene in Jules, where a license plate is pulled from the stomach of a tiger shark, is actually scientifically accurate. So with this eat anything mentality, it's no surprise that they go after seabirds, as just like the giant Trevally, they stalk the surface of the water, waiting for birds to land, before exploding out of the water and taking them out. But it isn't all easy for the tiger sharks, as they are still preyed upon by the kings of the ocean, the killer whales. So as they eat almost anything, it really isn't a surprise that they feed on birds too. But that's about it for this video, there are plenty more fish that prey on birds, so if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye. Oh,